And welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to show you guys nine titles that I picked up from the latest Twilight Time sale that was going on through the month of February. Uh, January, they had a mini sale. I think they had about 10 or 15 titles that they were listing on sale. I think they're just trying to blow through their inventory and uh, try to get rid of some stuff that they had on hand for a while because a lot of those titles have been kicking around for months, even a couple years. And finally, they're getting rid of some of the stock. Um, in the month of February, they opened it up and I think they had just about their whole catalog was on sale. They had different price brackets. I don't remember what I paid for each of these titles, but I did pick up nine of them. And these are in no particular order, but these are films that I wanted to pick up. I think on average, these were about like 15 bucks a piece for all, all of these titles. Some were $9.95 and some were $17.95, but uh, adding them all up and, you know, I think, like I said, about 15 bucks a title. <clears throat> this one here was one of the more expensive ones. This is a double billing of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, two different movies on here. Uh, both of them are rated G. And the original, the Tom Sawyer, is from 1973, and Huckleberry Finn was from 1974. You do get some special features here. You get the isolated music tracks like Criterion does. That's very good. Each of these titles are limited to 3,000 pieces, too. You can see down there in that little box. But you get audio commentary with the screenwriter, songwriter, Richard Sherman, and music producer, Bruce Kimmel. Um, some more audio commentary, Tom Sawyer, River Song featurette, some rehearsals, and original trailers. And this is a good little twin billing of films to pick up. So I wanted to add that to the Twilight Time collection. Anytime you can get something that's limited like that for around 15 bucks, it's a good buy, at least in my opinion. The next one is a Western, and this is called Law Man, starring Burt Lancaster. Lee J. Cobb is also in here. It's a pretty cool cover. This is a film from 1971. And it doesn't have much as far as special features go. You just get the isolated music track and trailer. But you do get the film in 1080p. And it is a limited edition. It does have subtitles. I believe these are all Region A only. And it says that this one was available exclusively at Screen Archives or at Twilight Time Movies, which I, I think that's the only two places you can really get these. Unless you get them on a secondary market from flippers or whatever but I think the only place I've ever picked these up were screen archives and twilighttimemovies.com if you guys are interested go check those sites out that's lawman looking forward to checking that one out the next one is called play dirty starring Michael Caine and again it doesn't have very much in the way of special features, you get the isolated music and effects track in the trailer. The film is from 1968, 118 minutes. A superb cast. Nigel Green is also in here. Harry Andrews. Combat film set in North Africa during World War II. So definitely glad to add this to the collection. The next one is a Vincent Price film called Theater of Blood. I was trying to get the puppy over here. She's getting a little bored. You do get a couple special features, isolated score, um, audio commentary with film historians David Duvall and Nick Redman in an original trailer. The film is from 1973, 104 minutes. says it offers the one and only Vincent Price in a role both madcap and touching. He plays a Shakespearean actor determined to wreak vengeance on the critics who fail to appreciate his genius. 
killing them in a series of set-piece murders based on scenes from Shakespeare. I do have the Arrow Video edition of this one, but I wanted to pick this one up too, just because. Limited edition and looks pretty cool. The next one is another Western called Hour of the Gun. I like this cover as well. It's kind of a vintage, kind of a retro, like a theater poster, lobby card type uh, advertisement of the film. The film is from 1967. They say this is one of uh, James Garner's best performances. And it is a reworking of Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, in the gunfight at the OK Corral. There have been many different adaptations of that, which I think Tombstone is probably the best uh, rendition of that. But I'm looking forward to checking this out. Next one is an Elvis Presley film called Kid Galahad. And Elvis was one of the best entertainers of all time. And it's a musical version of a boxing movie starring Elvis Presley as a singer boxer managed by a cantankerous promoter who was played by Gig Young and guided by an amiable trainer, Charles Bronson. Joan Blackman provides the love interest and Ed Asner makes his screen debut. So that's how old this is. Uh, the film came out in 1962. It is 95 minutes. <clears throat> So looking forward to checking that out. The next one is the Barefoot Contessa. Could have been a little bit better on the cover, I think, but what are you going to do? Um, Ava Gardner and uh, Humphrey Bogart star in this movie. And it is from 1954, 130 minutes, so it's rather long, two, over two hours long. And you do get some special features. You also get audio commentary with film historians Julie Kergo and David DelVal. Stills gallery from the David DelVal archive and original trailer. Come on, you can come up here. You're a good girl, Heidi. You're a good pup. I got two more to show. You gotta lay down though. Go lay down, lay down. The next one is Wild Bill. There have been several different renditions and adaptations of the Wild Bill story. Um, th this one is not one of the better ones. If you guys wanna see more about Wild Bill, watch the series Deadwood, which lasted three seasons, and you'll get a good feel for the Wild Bill character. That was probably my favorite show. Second favorite show of all time, but my favorite Western show. And it had a really good uh, pairing with Wild Bill and Calamity Jane. It was really good. So anyway, this is Walter Hill's Wild Bill from 1995. And it's, uh, it focuses on the last days of the mythic gunfighter Wild Bill Hickok, who played, was played by Jeff Bridges. Consorting in Deadwood with Calamity Jane, who was played by Ellen Barkin. And observed by longtime friend and haunted by the ghost of his past. So, you get to see the last days of Wild Bill Hickok. And the last one for this little mini haul, I guess, little sale haul, is Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. And this is a, it's like a crime type film. The film is from 1974. And uh, let's see, it's 112 minutes. Directed by Sam Peckinpah. And there you can see, reassessed today as a masterpiece. <clears throat> So 
So I haven't seen the film yet. I know it has been released by Arrow Video, which has a really nice edition of it. I haven't picked this movie up. This is the first time I ever got it. So looking forward to checking that out. And so I'll just do a quick recap and then we'll close this video out. It's a little bit over 10 minutes now. That's about all I really wanted to spend on this video is just about 10 minutes. So we got the Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn double feature, Hour of the Gun, Theater of Blood, Play Dirty, Lawman, Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, Wild Bill, The Barefoot Contessa, and Kid Galahad. So let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys like the best. And tell me what you picked up in the sale. And uh, just always keep an eye out because Twilight Time does have sales quite a bit. So I think they're a little bit overpriced as far as their stock goes, you know. But they're selling these editions for about the same price as Criterion, but they don't have quite the oomph that Criterion has. You know, they don't have the all the uh, special features that you would expect if you're going to pay 30 bucks. So again, the best way to pick these up is when they're on sale. You can get them for almost half price. You know, I think brand new these are like 30 bucks when they first come out. If you get a sale and like I said, averaged out, these are about 15 a piece. So that's the only way to go. Other than that, guys, that's it. Take care and thank you for watching. And for me and Heidi, we are out.